So welcome to another Merchant of Magic vlog. This time we're having a behind the curtains look at X-Ray by Rasmus. Okay, Paul, we're going to try uh, a little game using a black ball. Okay. I'm going to take the ball, I want you to put your hands behind your back, yeah. mix the ball up uh, into either of hands, and when you're happy, come back forward with your fist clenched like so. Okay. okay, and I want you to think about where the ball has ended up, not where it's been on the journey, if you've switched hands a couple of times. And I want you to think about where you maybe started there, but this one's now empty, and you put the ball in your uh, right hand. Is that correct? <laughs> that's all right. Okay. There we go. We'll, we'll try again. We'll try again. Okay. That could be. That's a 50-50. So we'll try again. So go behind your back. Mix it up. Mm. And I think you're probably trying to double bluff me, and this time you've stuck with the same hand. So back in your right. <laughs> <laughs> again. That, again. That could be two 50-50s in a row. Uh, so we'll try one last time. So go behind your back. Mix them up. And when you're happy, bring them back forward, face down, and think about where it's ended up in your left hand. <laughs> oh, yeah. What is X-Ray? X-Ray is a guess which hand effect. Now this is uh, a sort of new non-electronic method. I say new, there have been similar methods out in the past, but this is very concise and practical. Uh, so it's not electronics, which is uh, in some people's views a, a huge plus, in some people's views it's a negative. But uh, in my mind, this is a really solid, practical way to do the guess which hand routine, where you have an item held in someone's hand and you can repeatedly tell them which hand they're holding it in uh, with 100% accuracy. So that's one of the things I wanted to talk about this with X-Ray, how practical and how accurate is it? I found when I first pulled it out without looking at the tuition and how they handled it, I was, uh, I was a little bit uh, sort of questioning it, but as soon as I watched the tuition and saw the handling and everything like that, then it all fell into place. You can nail this 100% of the time. Uh, it really is a, a cool method for the effect. And not only that, you can also do a Kuratsuke effect, which was the effect published and made famous by Max Maven, where you have five balls in a bag, one of them is different and the spectators each take a ball, yet you're able to tell who is the person that took the different colored ball. So that's nice, because that adds a bit more, because I guess which hand is only 50-50. What do you actually get inside the package? Well, you get everything that you need. You get online tuition, you get the gimmicks, uh, and you get everything that you need for the Kuratsuke as well. So you get the bag, uh, the x-ray gimmick, and the balls. So there's not much else that you need, obviously, because it's quite uh, a direct uh, effect. So you can literally work this. I, I do recommend, as I say, watching the tutorial because you get the handling tips. But yeah, you can work this straight out of the box, which is a nice thing. So the tuition, it's online tuition, which is becoming really standard nowadays as DVDs are actually being phased out of the world. And it's about 30 minutes long. Uh, it's clear, concise, to the point, uh, teaches you everything you need to know about the handling of these effects. So it goes into the guess which hand and it goes into the Kuratsuke. It goes into variations of them both. So doing a guess which hand with two coins uh, or you could also do the Kuratsuke without the balls just with uh, bits of paper and a banknote, which I thought was a really nice touch. Uh, that was a really nice uh, flip on the whole balls in the bag. So Mark Lavelle is there with Rasmus in Murphy's new UK studios teaching this. And as I say, it's very clear and to the point, they don't give you any patter ideas. So you don't get any routines which give you everything that you want for your patter or anything like that. You have to think of that yourself. But I think that's actually quite a good thing because 
it's very easy in this sort of uh, routine to become a clone because you can have three phases and you say something on phase one, something on phase two, and then something on phase three. And if it, if it, you know, if you teach exactly the pattern and everything, then everyone performing it is going to perform it exactly that way, which I don't think is that good. So it's probably a plus that they are making you work a little bit and make your own pattern for these routines. So they also uh, talk over, which I mentioned, the idea with two coins. This is the props aren't supplied with this, but they're easily sourced, uh, and it's uh, it's a great little take where you're just guessing. They've got two coins in the hands, and you're guessing which coins in which hand. Um, so that's a, a nice little additional routine that can seem very impromptu. What are the pros about X-ray over other methods? So as I said, it's low tech. So there's no batteries to change. There's nothing that can really go wrong in performance. Um, you know, as long as you have the gimmicks on you, then you're good to go. Uh, it also, because it's like this, it makes it affordable, which is a great thing. It's also very practical and easy to get in and out of whenever you like in the routine, which is a really good thing for a worker. It's great casually as well. You literally just rest your hands and you can be ready to do this and, and ditch off anything that you need. The gimmick is invisible. Uh, they talk about this and how you can uh, handle the gimmick in, in nice natural manners, which is a, a nice little addition. It just happens at the end of the tuition, but it's nice that they put that on there just for anyone that might be worried about using this sort of gimmick. Apart from that, there's nothing really uh, negative to say about this. It might not be for you if you already have a method uh, which you use and you love and you enjoy. Um, apart from that, I think X-Ray by Rasmus is a winner. So go check it out. That's X-Ray by Rasmus. And this has been another Merchant of Magic vlog. I've been Ben Williams. Please go and check out our blog. It's blog.magicshop.co.uk. There's loads of advice and training tips that you can get for free there. So I will see you next time. Take care.